Over the last several years, we have identified a new biomarker for tracking multiple myeloma. It's called B-cell maturation antigen, or BCMA. We've demonstrated that this marker is a much quicker way to find changes in clinical status in myeloma and also is an excellent prognostic marker. We've recently also identified that this marker can predict who with pre-myeloma or MGUS can get myeloma and which among the smoldering myeloma patients may be at risk to become active and need treatment. The exciting data is that because this marker or protein turns over every day, it has a much quicker ability to see a difference in that patient's clinical status. So we can pick up patients that are progressing, getting worse, much more rapidly than the currently available markers, which are the monoclonal antibodies, which take many weeks for that to happen. This is really good news because then patients don't have to stay on a treatment that may not be working and can change quickly. It may also ultimately allow them to start with less treatment and only need the addition of other drugs or changes should there be a rise because we're not going to wait until patients get clinically sick. We're going to know a lot earlier what's going on. It also may allow us to identify patients that may be good candidates for certain treatments. We don't know that with certainty at this point. We're trying to find that out, but we know that baseline levels highly predict your ability to respond and your progression-free survival. Now, also, the data recently generated, and again, pre-myeloma, tells us that we may be able to establish a threshold that is a level of BCMA. If you're above that level, you're at risk, and if you're below, you may not be at any risk to develop myeloma, and similarly, in smoldering myeloma. We need a lot more work to show that's true. Last but not least, we've also shown that among patients with myeloma who receive treatment, that if they actually get to a level below about 82 nanograms per milliliter, which is below the upper limits of normal, they have an extremely good prognosis compared to those that do not. And our initial data suggests that marker may tell you that even among patients who don't have complete elimination of the myeloma. So we're very excited about this marker in myeloma. And also, we have similar data now in chronic lymphocytic leukemia. We're generating data in amyloidosis now, as well as Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. So this is a nifty marker. It's very easy to do the test. It only requires less than a drop of blood to do this test. And it's very stable at room temperature, so it's convenient to ship, convenient to do. So we hope to do a lot more data generate a lot more data from a lot of clinical trials substantiating the data we've seen to date over the last few years.